Okay, now we'll show you a really nice thing in Comsol. It's called parameter sweep. So uh, let's take a look. We defined our parameters. This is still the same example from last tutorial. We defined our geometry, air and metal, and here really important is the parameter slit. So we defined the parameter to be one micrometer, and now we want to change it. We want to see what's the result of the simulation for 100 nanometer slit, 200, 400, 500, 1 micrometer and see how does it change or to make an integration here and see what uh, values do we get if this is changing. We defined our geometry and we said that the metal this is the width of the metal and the position and um, here we have the parameter slit and if we change the value of that then the slit will change. Uh, we set up the materials to be aluminum for this uh, metal pieces and air for the rest. And the electromagnetic wave we set up that we have scattering boundary conditions over here. That means the wave can get out without being reflected. And we defined an electric field to come in from here. And now we want to see what happens if we change this slit. Um, also we defined the mesh to be quite fine and now we can click on study then we have to define the frequency domain we want to simulate it for the frequency of 500 nanometers that we defined the value of lambda in the parameters to be 500 nanometers so we say the frequency speed of light divided by uh, wavelength Now we want to do the sweep, so we right click on the study node and we say parametric sweep. And here we can define what parameter should be changed. So we say add, and this is our slit parameter over here. We say OK, and now the values they should go from 100. And now, very important that you put in uh, the values, it should go from 100 to 1000 nanometers and the step should be 200 nanometers and then we say add and now we could say right click on study and say compute and now the program simulates for these different parameters it makes the meshing you can see here in the messages box it makes the meshing and tells you how many uh, dots you have and in the process node you see here um, how much percent of the parametric sweep it did already. After the sweep is finished we get another surface plot over here and now the data set is called solution 2. So now we have two solutions and you have to be careful which solution you take. Then here we have our parameter value the slit which has five different parameters in meters in this case so 9 to the minus 7 meters and this is the frequency that we defined as so if we open this node and go to the surface plot and um, here we can define the plot for example we want to show the normalized power we say plot this is how it looks like again this um, areas here they come from a mesh that is not really fine but uh, the mesh is too large too coarse that's why it, it looks a bit strange but the simulation is much faster so for the power I like to use the thermal equidistant and uh, let's change the color range to be from 0 to 30 minus 2 that we can see something so this is our power. Our electromagnetic waves wave goes in here and then here is the slit and it can get out here. Okay, so what we do now, we go to dataset and we don't want to take it from parent, we say solution 2, which is actually the parent, but if we select solution 2, we can also select the parameter value. And now here we have our different parameters. Let's go to the first one, plot it. It's a parameter where the slit is really small. Then we go to the next one, plot it. It's a little bit larger, more power can get out. 
go to the fourth one, plot it, it's even larger, and now to the last one, and we can make a plot, and uh, the hole, the slit here is even larger, and even more energy can get out. Now I will show you how you can use this parametric sweep to calculate how much energy actually comes to this boundary over here. So we made the simulation, we have our parameters and now we go to derived values again, right click it and say we want to integrate over a line. And then we have to define what data set, it's solution 2. If we are not sure we can check it here to go to to this node and we see ah, it's solution 2. So we go to line integration, solution 2, parameter selection, we say from list to see what what we get. So these are our parameters. This is uh, These are the values for the slit. This is our parametric sweep. And the frequencies we can define here, first or last. And here we have to define uh, what solutions, inner solutions or outer solutions. So we leave it like this and see what happens. For the expression we say we want to have the normalized power and for the selection we want to have this line over here. So we click it, we right click it and then we can calculate the intensity. So we clear the table first and now we say evaluate. And now it takes a while until it's evaluated and here are all the values. So for the frequency 10 to the 14 Hertz for the wavelengths that we defined we have for the slit of 1 to the minus 7, so 100 nanometers. This is the energy in watts per meter and then we have all different values over here. So we can just click on the table, copy it and paste it in in a text box or wherever and here are the values that we can use in another program in Excel or somewhere else. Mm -hmm.